Well, good evening and welcome to another edition of the Junior Footy and Netball Show. No Georgia Gilmore, unfortunately. She's feeling a bit crook today, so she's having a little RDL and she's got ham and representative netball duties on Sunday. So uh, we wanted to be fired up and ready for that and ready to go. But we have got the big man, Reggie Mars. Reg, how are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm going good. Thanks, yourself. Mate, fantastic. Had the pleasure today of uh, getting up to the Reed Oval and calling the Emmanuel College School footy team, taking on Catherine McCauley up at the Reed Oval. Yep. Four-point victors, Reg. Uh, the Emmanuel boys off to the grand final. Now, that was huge. Yeah, it was. Off to Melbourne next week for the granny. It was a pretty tough day out, but no, we managed to get through it and got it done. So, yeah, it was good. Mate, cracking game of footy, uh, Tilty Carter in the special comments box, uh, Lamont Loire in the special comments box too, he was sensational, yeah. um, but we, we were really impressed with the level, the standard of football, it ebbed and flowed all day, there was only a kick, kick and a half in it right throughout the afternoon, and I must admit, they kind of hit the front, got a couple of points up, Reg, there was only about four or five minutes to play, and I thought, hang on, we might be in a bit of trouble here, but uh, to your credit, you got the ball down the other end and scored. And the, the man of the match for mine was Connor Byrne. Yeah. Five goals out of seven. He was magnificent. And he's got a crook at the shoulder at the moment as well, Reggie. Yeah, it's huge for us for him to play. He wasn't even sure if he was going to play this morning, but he got through the warm-up. So he said, yeah, I'll have a go. And then he ended up kicking five. So it was pretty big for us. That's unbelievable, mate. A fantastic performance. His brother Taylor played very well. He's, well, he's a year 10. Yeah. Um, Charlie McKinnon, I thought when he went back down to centre half back, yeah, played well. He was huge for us. Yourself, mate, fantastic. Took a big hanger again, Reg. You just, uh, you're just in good form at the moment, mate. Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, everyone had a crack, especially our younger boys, which is good to see them coming up and through. Harry Keast. Yeah, mate. Harry was good, and Duke yeah. coming on soon. I think he was one of our best today. So, mate, he was sensational. Mitchy Wallerman. Yeah. Uh, another one. Yeah. Uh, young kid Ryan. Yeah, Mitch Ryan. Mitch Ryan. Was a good, had a good crack for us. So Sam Carter too. He was special. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, Sammy Carter, and then uh, young Waterson. Tate yeah, Waterson. Yeah, Tate. Tate has a crack. Gee, so that was good for him. He was fantastic. It was a really good effort. Well done, Chris McLaren, Benny Wooten. Brian Brown involved in the coaching there. So head to the grand final uh, in a couple of weeks' time, uh, which will be really exciting for me. It's going to be played at Trevor Barker Oval in Melbourne, so you're not too sure who you're playing yet. Yeah, not sure yet, but I'm sure it'll be a pretty tough contest, so looking forward to it. And no George Stevens, no Lamont Lawal, and no Amon Radley yeah, today. Yeah, pretty big to have them out, so we did well to uh, get through the line. Hopefully we can get Lamont and George back, but Amon, yeah, he's done the risk, so we won't see him, which is pretty unfortunate. Bit of a bummer, mate. It was a tough week for you, the Blue Baggers last week against the North Warner Eagles, mate. Yeah, it was a tough outfit, um, just to, yeah, the over wasn't too good of condition, so it probably didn't suit us greatly, but yeah, they probably had a bit more size and stuff, so put on a few more goals than us, so yeah, that's what happened. Well done to uh, Charlie McKinnon, uh, Sammy Nicholas and uh, Archie Taylor. Uh, Vic Country Boys had a four-point win over the Vic Metro Boys in the, uh, the first week of the country championships, uh, or national championships, so that was huge. Yeah, it was big boys. for them. I think they all contributed pretty well from what I've heard too. I think they were down about 20 points going into the last quarter or something, so to come back is, yeah, massive. Mate, what about uh, Archie, oh, Archie Stevens, Georgie Stevens, um, Lamont Lawal, and uh, Finn O'Sullivan? Yeah. Uh, representing the Hamburg League in the under 18 yeah. um, big country team. That, that's an enormous effort. Yeah, it's huge. I think they've got uh, South Australia this weekend, so that'll be a big game for them. Not uh, Finn's had a bit of a crook hip, so hopefully he gets around to playing. He's been resting for a bit, so. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hey, you just touched on this kid was sensational today. Uh, Duke Birmingham, uh, the big Duke. Uh, he was magnificent. Uh, loved calling him, especially in that first quarter. Lit him up. And uh, first third and last quarters, I reckon he was magnificent. Um, and he's been kind enough to join us on the Zoom call tonight. Duke, how are you, buddy? <coughs> Good, thanks. How are you? Mate, fantastic. How'd you pull up from today's game, first and foremost? Uh, magnificent win. And uh, did you feel like you had a fair bit of it today? Because you did. Uh, oh, I'm not too sure. Just go out there and play. Good to see everyone, you know, get around the footy and stuff. How do you think everyone went today, considering we had some uh, big outs? Did you think everyone stepped it up a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think to a certain aspect, we probably played all right. We probably didn't play as good as we have been playing, which made it a bit uh, closer. But, yeah, some definitely some people stood up and played well. It just it seemed to me that they were a lot bigger. Me and Reggie were talking about earlier. That's a bigger boy, especially Big McMahon, number yeah, eighteen through the middle. Off. He's a uh, he ended up ruck roving. He yeah. was uh, he was magnificent. Yeah. Um, but if you could get them on the outside run into that open open space of the Reed Oval, which they congested it pretty well and played yeah. that kind of brand of footy, yeah. 
you kind of seem to have their measure. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a really good dog and win today. So well done. But mate, let's talk about the North Fornable Eagles in season 2023, mate. And uh, you've been a big part of the senior team right throughout this year, Duke. Uh, not too bad, but um, yeah, we've sort of we had a bit of a slower start, but I think we've starting to catch a bit of momentum in the second half of the season, especially with like Nick Rodder coming back and stuff and kicking a few. What's been your yeah. role? Um, what's been your role so far in the senior season? Uh, sort of just uh play on that wing and hold my space and just get the uh, the footy when I can. Mate, uh, tell us about Big Nick Rodder. I was just talking to Reg about it because uh, the big man started at full forward and then Reggie had to go on because he kicked a few. Uh, he's a big boy, isn't he? Yeah, no, he's, he's bloody massive. He's really tall and he's, he's pretty quick for a big fella as well. And he's well, probably one of the best set shots I've ever seen. What's it like having uh, him and Vards playing such high-level footy? Are they good like uh, mentors towards you and help you out a lot? Uh, yeah, they're both real good. Vards is real good, you know being that sort of leader at the club and he sort of tells everyone what to do and like if you're doing something a bit off like it sort of helps to have him uh put you in the right direction so that's yeah, pretty good what about uh what's it like playing alongside your brother of course he's won a masculine medal he's only a young kid still uh must be pretty exciting uh, uh, yeah it's not too bad it's, uh yeah not too bad have you got him covered in the backyard battles yet or has he still got you covered <laughs> um, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's great, mate. Hey, uh, the North Fondable Eagles this week, you go up to the Hamilton Kangaroos, mate. Uh, never an easy task. No, nah, yeah, especially last time we played them, they were pretty good in that uh, second quarter. I think they kicked seven or something like that. So, yeah, definitely won't be going over there thinking that they're an easy uh, fight. And, mate, what about your goals? What's, uh, what's the long-term goal for yourself, buddy? Uh, probably just play the best footy I can at the moment and then, you know, hopefully take it maybe a step further if I can. But, yeah, just keep going and play the best footy I can. Awesome, mate. Well, great victory today. And uh, you, you're certainly having an impact in the Hamden League as well um, in the seniors, which is sensational, mate. So we really appreciate your time tonight, buddy. Cheers, boys. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, no, I like calling him Duke. Yeah, he's good. He's a gun. He's a bit of a unicorn, you'd call him. He can do a bit of it all. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, no, he gets across the deck really, really well, that is for sure. Hey, uh, I touched on before, so no netball uh, side of things this week, um, but they have got the association champs. They go, I'm pretty sure it's to Melbourne um, this weekend, so there's a lot of teams that obviously won through. So um, we wish those girls all the best of luck because a uh, great achievement, really proud netball and football competition is to hand the Football Netball League as well. Um, which is just fantastic to see. Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, the league's providing a lot of talent and going further with it, so it's good to see. Absolutely, mate. Now, what about the Blue Baggers? Uh, you are taking on the Portland Tigers, mate, uh, up at the Reed Oval. Um, you copped a little bit of it. Was it a bit of a cork today, yeah, mate? Yeah, a bit of a knock in the shin, just a bit of a bruise, but um, we'll see how it goes. Should be right to play, but I'm going to have a chat to Doc tonight about a bit of load management. Got a lot of games coming up in the next month with school, granny, and then, yeah, a couple of local games and then Rebels, so we'll see what happens, but hopefully I'll yeah. line up. Yeah, absolutely. And look, yeah, you got to remember, you're only, what, just turned 17, Reg? Yeah, 17 next month. So, so yeah. you still, you know, like, and you, you're right. You've got to just manage that because you've got a lot of footy ahead of you. You've played a lot of senior footy already. So, uh, yeah, even this weekend, it might even be just a, a weekend off or yeah. it could be just back to the under-18s or something. Yeah, for a bit of a hopefully we'll see what mates. happens. Yeah, it should be good anyway. Love it, mate. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, other games this weekend, Camperdown taking on Tarant Mortlake. That'll be a belter. Hamilton taking on Warnable as we, uh, North Warnable, as we mentioned. Croy taking on Cobden. Warnable v Portland. And South Warnable taking on the Port Free Seagulls. We must thank our sponsors. You've got it all to yourself tonight, mate. Mickey D's. Yeah. Uh, you got to, don't have to race Georgia down there because she's at home on the sick bed. So uh, McDonald's, great sponsor. Powercore, of course. They are fantastic. Sungold FM flavoured milk. It is magnificent. Been a great sponsor for a long time. As has Southwest TAFE, great to have them guys on board. They've got their big open day coming up too, not too far away, which is absolutely magnificent. Mate, great to talk to you as always. Well done today again. Well done to the Emmanuel College Football Club uh, or school uh, football team making it through to the final. Trevor Barker, have a great weekend, buddy. Will do. You too, Stuart. You go rest up, mate. Uh, that is us done and dusted. We'll see at the footy in the netball this weekend.